a new 3.24.2 patch, as well as server mesh moving to a new and exciting phase, as well as a new dynamic event. Let's talk. Before we get into the video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all y'all do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. So we've had a message of the day um, in regards to uh, the upcoming patch for today. And the message of the day says uh, we are currently putting together a new 3.24.2 build for release onto the PTU today. Once the build is out, we are planning on running a phase one to four of the new global event called Save Stanton. So, yes, there is going to be a new global event that um, it seems like this one is probably going to be bigger than all of the other ones that we've seen. So uh, exciting, exciting stuff. So uh, let's see how that goes. So now we've gotten some more information pertaining to the most recent server meshing tests and um, they have some uh, an interesting note at the very end of it. So I'm going to go through it uh, just to give you guys a, a quick overview on how things went with the uh, server meshing tests. Okay. It says here, this test includes two major hybrid crash fixes that were encountered at, at high concurrency in the last test, which prevented us from pushing forward. Other optimizations are still underway but did not make their way into the build. Our objective in this test was to measure the behavior of the hybrid at a 1000 player concurrency. So here are the new observations for test E. It says here, when at 1000 plus player concurrency, long loading screens were observed across many players loading late into the game caused by waiting for a free hab to spawn in. Would be nice to see this on screen. Looking into seeing if a queuing mechanism to ease the spawning process can help. Also looking at other spawning options more on this later. Yeah, I, I think they do need to introduce uh, new spawning options because I don't think there's enough habs to accommodate the amount of players that they want to put out. Um, seeing that they're, they're even pushing all the way up to 2,000 players, they're, the landing zones don't have... Uh, the uh, enough habs i think to accommodate for that many players coming in all at once so um yeah they need to look into this for sure it says here observed several issues occurring with asop during the high player count test where the terminals would appear stuck waiting for ships or hangars to be unstowed after investigation no back-end issues were detected further investigation is underway it continues to say some players were seen quantum jumping through a server boundary but never pivoted to the new authority causing them to be effectively lost appeared as if no control worked stuck in seat etc investigation underway possibly related to some game servers being overwhelmed and not processing the authority transfer in time it continues to say that a game server with 400 players went through a successful server crash recovery the team cheered so that's that's good that's good 400 players that's nice all right and then a large area network bind need optimization as seen in multiple captures in all tests so far so now here's what makes things more interesting the last bit here says test e is the last test on the 3.24.x tech preview stream as now we have to merge back to the main 4.0.x development stream and continue. This means, at least from what I'm reading this, is the next server meshing tests are going to be in Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 going forward. It doesn't make any sense for them to continue to develop and test on 3.24 because 4.0 is literally uh, the very next major patch and they literally just did their first test with server meshing there. So um i think uh yeah i think we'll be seeing more and more uh star season alpha 4.0 going forward plus also with this code base it seems like the previous 3.24.2 uh build is essentially 4.0 it was um considered as a pre 4.0 patch because the 4.0 patch itself when it dropped it was only 7.7 .7 gigs of additional data as opposed to the 3.24.2 build being 44 gigs of data so i can see that the star the entire pyro star system was probably included in that build and um 
lots and lots of other assets that will be needed for 4.0 so yeah so it, it does make sense for them to now move on to 4.0 which means we get to see more 4.0 stuff hopefully this will be released more into um at least the other waves aside from uh evil Cardi. Um, but you guys let me know your thoughts on everything that we just spoke about before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries now recruiting new and better players if you're interested you can find the discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe catch you guys on the next one